Operating the green APU is extremely simple and we're gonna go through that process right now. To start, you just press your button and it'll go through this short startup screen and right to your main menu. Climate control and battery charger are the two primary features. So we're gonna, and climate control is most often used. So to, to start your APU, you just click your button on climate control and you'll see that it's counting down for 30 seconds. You see in this case, the preheat is off. That's your glow plugs. So if it's extremely cold outside, the preheat is gonna come on earlier than when it's warmer. In the summertime, it likely won't even come on at all because it doesn't require the glow plugs. But now you see that when it hit 10 seconds, the preheat went on. Now our glow plugs have started. Our fuel is on, that's our priming the fuel pump and now the APU has started. It's gonna check, do a five second test, test and now we're using the APU. So as you can see in this case, we're right around the set temperature. But if I lower the temperature and I press, I press the button and went to this menu, I can set the temperature, set the fan speed or I can switch to the battery charger mode. Most often that you would just set the temperature. So let's say I want to set it lower and I want to get into the 60s. I'll set the temperature and I'll click down to 68. Now the, the AC is kicked on and that happens automatically. You don't have to go between heat and AC or anything like that. You just set your temperature and the system knows what to do from there. Now if I change my temperature to something higher than what it is in the truck, system automatically changed just to heat. And you probably have heard the blower change speeds a little bit. All of that is done automatically just based on the need, uh, how much it needs to blow. You also have some manual settings, but we recommend always using the auto because it allows the system to balance itself out best and uh, just doesn't blow ambient air for no reason. Again, I can set the temperature back down get it down to where it's cold, and right away I'm back to AC. So what's nice is you can just set your temperature and the system knows what to do. If you're to fall asleep and it's hot out and then it gets cold at night, the system may switch from AC to heat while you're sleeping, but it'll just keep you at your desired temperature. When you're done in the morning, just get up. Now this, this screen will disappear after so many seconds so it doesn't stay illuminated the entire time while you're trying to sleep and and uh, stay bright in your truck it'll go it'll go black after uh, you're done you or after it's not being used for a few uh, like a few seconds but when you when you're done you would just go in the morning down to off and you turn the unit off so that's the climate control function now your second option, your second, second function is the battery charger. And that's when you're gonna be parking the truck for a night or a week or however long. And when you do that, it's also gonna monitor the temperature. So um, if the batteries go below 12.4 volts or if the temperature drops into the freezing range below 32 degrees, and that's your coolant temperature, uh, the APU will start and it'll run for two hours. So you can be assured that when you come back to your truck after however much, however long that you uh, park the truck, your batteries are gonna to be topped off and your engines are not gonna be frozen over. So to do that, just go down to your second option, one click to the right and click it. Now it's monitoring the battery. You won't hear the APU start like it did before because um, it doesn't need to start right now. You can see our batteries are at 13.7 and our water temp is 160 because this unit had been running for a little while. So it, there's nothing that needs to be done, but as soon as those batteries were to go below 12.5, 12, 12, um, if you had a refrigerator in here, if you had some older batteries, some kind of parasitic loss, it's gonna, it's gonna automatically start as soon as it hits that 12.4. Uh, 12, and then uh, water temperature, same thing. As Soon as it goes below the 32 degrees, it's gonna start up. And it's gonna run for those two hours and it's gonna shut itself off. It's gonna just cycle on like that you do have to manually do this um, when you leave the truck. So if you just get out of the truck and don't go back and set it to the battery charger mode, 
it won't it won't do it you'd have to go to battery charger and explicitly tell it what you want it to do so the system is designed in that way it doesn't kind of have a mind of its own it does do exactly what you tell it to do so again battery charger and now the system's on its battery monitoring mode it's going to automatically come off of that mode when you come back in your truck and start it but i'm going to turn it off that mode right now and again we're back to our main menu so climate control and battery charger all there is to use in the green apu 99 percent of the time you're probably going to be using the climate control on a daily basis and then battery charger when you're leaving the truck um, we also have some options for maintenance so you can see the service hours you can adjust the contrast of the screen and when you do a basic service or a pm service on the unit you can reset your oil timer um, in your service hours you'll see this unit it's a new installation it only has 22 hours uh, 22 hours on the on the oil and it's also going to keep track of how much time it's been on heat and ac and its battery charge mode when you do do your basic service you reset your oil timer and if you have a custom pin you can enter that this one doesn't so it's just all zeros and we reset our oil timer now if we go back to our service hours you'll see oil is zero there are also diagnostics built into the controller so right here we see what our battery voltage is our water temperature uh, the ambient temperature in here in the in the truck and there's some more technical things that when you have to call our tech support we have you go through and make sure that um, these settings are right these are basically the voltages that are coming back from all of our sensors so in this case everything looks good um, the top left that indicates that our AC is pressurized properly um, our alternator and our oil pressure sensors are working fine and our overheat sensors working fine so we also have the ability to test our water valve that's what alternates between heat and AC and then test the blower itself so generally the the end user doesn't have to go into this area but if you do have to call technical support they may prompt you to go through here and uh, determine what what may be the issue go back and just turn the unit off. So that's all there is to use in the green APU.